Hi guys, so here's a quick video showing you how to use GSA SEO Indexer. It's going to be a lot shorter than the other videos because there's not too much to this one. Um, so let's quickly take a look at the settings. Um, yeah, open up this section here and um, single URL, multiple URLs. This is when you're actually loading one of your URLs that you want indexing into the SEO indexer. So, you know, if you want to put in one, just choose that, multiple URLs, you get the picture. Number of threads. Um, I choose 200 if I'm not doing anything else on the machine. Um, that will rip through links like there's no tomorrow. Um, you know, you can have a list of 100, it'll probably get through them in 5 minutes or something like that if you have it on 200, um, providing your machine can withstand it. Most modern machines will get through 200 quite easily. Um, and then this section, we want to check this one on the bottom. Use only sites that can index deep links. This means, you know, if uh, basically any inner page on a site, not the root domain and with Squidoo or any of the links basically we're creating with GSA are all deep links so definitely check this one and besides that I choose quick indexer mode that just speeds things up if you choose full indexer mode it will submit to more statistic sites or the other types of sites they use for indexing um, I can't be bothered to go that extra step um, and time, so I just choose the quick indexer mode, but you can use whichever one you want. And uh, then the custom indexer mode is just very similar to the quick indexer mode, and it just chooses less sites than the full indexer mode. And that's really it for the settings. Um, so let's go over to... Um, GSA SER. So let's take a look here. You can see these are four links that have been verified today when you're using GSA SER and the program finds your verified links, they'll start to put a list of them here. So what I do is just click on that one there, central and A to select them all, uh, copy URL, which basically copies them to your clipboard, open up a notepad. Um, one moment here, and yeah, just paste those in, save your file, give it a quick name, whatever, GSA temp, close that out, choose the indexer, open up this menu, and multiple URLs, and just import the file. GSA temp and there you have it. I've already um, done these links today so I'm not going to do them again. Again, So all you need to do is hit start and let the machine rip and that's basically it for the indexer. Um, one other thing to keep in mind which I talked about in one of the previous videos is that I find it better to use the SEO indexer um, at a separate time to actually running GSA SER because this takes up a lot of um, power on your computer and the internet connection, it'll max it out. So I find it better to do it separately and let GSA SER do its thing separately too. It's not that big of a deal if you are running a very small project to let them run together if you wanted to do it that way. But if you've got a lot going on, then I think it's much better to actually do these two processes separately. Um, I think that covers it. Um, oh, one more thing. I think it's in the global options here. So if you do want to run it at the same time as GSA SER, just go into GSA SER options here and just click use GSA SEO indexer um, to not use it automatically. And just deselect that. Also, you can do it on a per project basis. I'll just double click this project. Go to options and hold on, it's here somewhere. 
Um, just bear with me. I forget where the selection is because I don't use it that option that often. I think it's at the top. Um, Oh, here, yeah, here, send verified links to SEO indexer services. So if you just wanted to override the global options and choose it on a per project basis, you can do so here. Choose GSA or other indexes. And I think that about covers it. Um, the different angles that you can come at it within GSA SER. Um, okay, thanks for listening.